Um, yeah, uh, how, how's the body holding up after the weekend? No, it was good. Um, obviously, a bit better after a win. It's always um, the body's always better after a win. So um, glad we um, obviously beat the storm. A big win for us and our club. But uh, you know, on to next week. Just that that win as a whole. Uh, I imagine that was the first time you've ever beat them. It must be it. What what kind of feeling did you have after the game? Just proud, um, you know, to be 12 nil down. Um, nights of old probably would have, you know, chucked in the towel and, you know, just um, gone on with the game. But, you know, we showed a lot of grit and determination to come back and, you know, get a win against a, you know, a good storm outfit. Was there, was anything said when you were two tries down or, or was it just, you, was anyone like saying, like, we can still do this? Like, well, I was on the bench when we were 12 nil down, but um, we had a leadership group yesterday and they all said that. Was pretty calm, uh, you know. They were positive chat and um, just talking about the next fo- next focus, next job mentality, and you know, that's what they did. And we slowly, slowly cl- clawed our way back. Canberra this week um, got the got the win over them earlier in the year, but they're a different side now, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much kicked them back into form, didn't we? So um, they're a completely different um, team to what they were at the start of the year. So um, we're definitely going to be um, tested through the middle, and um, yeah, we're no, we're definitely looking forward to the challenge. How's your brother as well? Uh, yeah, I don't think he'll be up for selection this week. He's um, too tough for his own good. He played through a quad strain last week at training and just um, didn't pull up sweet, but uh, he should be up for selection in the next couple of weeks. He's, he's had a tough run with injuries this year, hasn't he? Yeah, he's played tough. Um, you know, probably uh, some games he probably shouldn't have played, but you know, it's just the type, type of bloke and type of player he is. Yeah, um, we'll put his hand up for the team. Um, Matt Croker, he, he's been, he was outstanding on the weekend, wasn't he? Yeah, obviously that try, I didn't know he had that in his arsenal, um, the roly-poly try, but um, no, he's been unreal. His energy around training is infectious and um, he's just such so good to have around the team. And another one, Phoenix, he, he just really stood up against Harry Grant, didn't he? He, he seemed like he was, the, he was the best hooker in the game on the weekend. Yeah, well, I think he was, maybe a bit biased, but um, yeah, he's been awesome for us and for him to play 80 and do all the uh, tackling he did on the weekend and get through the game and not only just the tackling, he's um, off the ball stuff that... Um, you know, the untrained eye wouldn't pick up on, but um, it adds he showed all these um, effort clips in in the team room and, uh, review. So, um, you know, I'm glad to be uh, playing with him. You play a lot of footy with him and he came through as a half. Did you ever expect that he'd, he'd become a dummy half and, and be doing what he's doing? Oh, I've always been a big fan of Phoenix. Um, I played a fair bit of cup coming through um, when I was coming back through injury with him. So I know how tough he is and how competitive he is. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm glad he's on my team. It's hard not to get away from that victory on the weekend. It was a pretty crazy atmosphere, atmosphere out there. Where does that rank in terms of wins you've had with the club? How satisfying it was? Oh, it's up there, definitely in top three or four for sure. Um, we're talking about that with a couple of the boys, like Tiger at the start, he was another good win, but obviously can't dwell on it too much with another um, tough task this week in Canberra, so um, yeah, time to move on. How much did you guys buy into kind of the record that they had over you last week before the game? To be honest, I didn't know too much about it. I knew deep down that I hadn't beaten him, but yeah. I didn't know it was that um, long ago. So, no, to be honest, I didn't really pay much attention to it. It was a motivating factor, though, do you think? Oh, yes and no. Yeah. Like, uh, as us as players don't really talk about them th- sort of things too often. But like I said, I knew I hadn't beaten him, but uh, I knew it was a long time. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you you know, three wins on the trot now. Do you guys think you can carry that momentum through the end of the season now? Uh, maybe. Um, oh, we're just taking it one game at a time, to be yeah. honest. Um, you know, the three wins is nice, but if we don't go on and start winning some more games, um, it's all for nothing. So, you know, we got a tough task in Canberra this week and uh, what happen, whatever happens after that uh, will happen. And just on your origin experience, obviously, your second game there the other week, um, how did you find it and, and what did you take out of it? Was it any different than, than your first game? Um, a bit different in terms of uh, the way I played, obviously, I reckon. Probably more defensively, I was probably better this year than last year, and probably my touch was probably better last year than this year. So, um, all the same, it was, it was sorry, it was fast and hard and everything I expected to be, and uh, you know, I'm just glad we got the win. Uh, I think Freddie had a little bit of um, uh, criticism for you and your brother in terms of wants you to take teams on more at club level to you know become sort of New South Wales regulars. I don't know if you've seen that, but. No, um, I mean, can you relate to that in terms of how your own forms been no, and that sort of thing? I can't really say I didn't know he said that, but yeah. obviously I've got a lot of respect for Freddie. He's someone I look up to, so um, if I one day have that chat with him, I'll talk to him about it. Yeah, yeah well, first and foremost, congratulations. Huge win on the weekend. Um, three from three now. How confident are you that you can make it four from four? Um, confident. Um, obviously, we've been playing really good footy and 
you know, we're really comfortable with our style of play at the moment. Our attack's troubling teams and our defence is holding up well, especially in our goal line. But um, it's going to gonna have to go up again this week against Canberra, especially down there at their home. They're really t- are turning into a tough play, tough place to play. So, um, yeah, quietly confident, but um, yeah, we, know, we know we've got a tough task ahead. And Canberra narrowly lost last weekend. Did you watch the game at all? Did you take anything out of it? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, obviously, three minutes ago, they um, scored two tries. So, obviously, they can pull something out of the from anywhere. So, they're a really dangerous side and, you know, playing really tough, solid footy at the moment. And is there anything that you're preparing on for Canberra specifically? Is there anything you're focusing on training? Oh, mainly for myself, it's through the middle, obviously. Two of the best props in the game and Joey Tapani and Just Papali. So, um, tough challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, just, sorry, sorry. Um, just on some community stuff, I know you've been doing a bit lately, um, particularly with nine-year-old Riley yeah. as well. Tell us about that. Oh, Riley's just um, a kid I met up at John Hunter last year, I think it was, and sort of kept in contact with him, obviously, last last year or so, and you know, I consider him a good friend. Yeah, and obviously the stuff you do in the community is so important, and it's something that the Knights really, um, is a part of a core of what you guys do here in Newcastle. Yeah, I think us as NRL players, we have a responsibility, especially in Newcastle, such a great town. And um, for myself, it's a privilege to be able to do stuff like that, and especially meeting kids like Riley. Um, you know, it's really uh, an eye-opener, and you know, I'm glad in, I'm in the position I'm in to be able to do it.